Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Daddy's Garage. Today's video is part 13 in the 68 Camaro rebuild known as Basket Case. I think it was uh, part 11, I said 68 Mustang, and prior to that I had another video where I had the title wrong, so I'm glad you're paying attention. That means you're looking at my videos and you're trying to learn some things. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the Camaro at this point. In the previous video, I put in the package shelf or package tray. I welded it in place. It's fully welded in. I still have to grind down the welds, but it's in place. I was also working on test fitting. I didn't show it in the video, but I'm test fitting the deck filler panel between the back glass and what would be, would be the deck lid or trunk lid. Now, what I want to do before I get that far along is finish putting on the side of the car. You know, in the previous videos I showed where I cut the whole side off and I fitted this piece. And this is a complete rocker panel, uh, wheelhouse, inner structure, roof line, A-pillar, all that is one piece. And it's just clamped in right now. And I thought, I better take care of that before I go any further with the other pieces. So I'm going to work on that today, but I want to show you the other pieces that I put in and where those... Uh, pieces are in my list or in my mind of what I need to do. So let's take a look at the car. Okay, so as I've talked about or shown in the previous videos, all this is new. I did my test fitting. I have not prepped any of the welds or any of the holes for welding just yet. I just want to make sure that thing fit as well as I could make it fit. I've also test fitted these cross pieces that will support the roof and create the windshield frame, let's say. Uh, there's another piece that goes in across here, and this rear piece is also mocked in place, just clamped in. The package shelf or package tray, it is all welded in place, and I need to grind down those welds. Um, I'm working on, again, the deck filler, and what, I, what I've discovered, I don't know who makes this piece, honestly. I think there's a label on the back, or there was a label, but this piece, the way it interacts, there is a flange up here that it sits on, and that's the package shelf, and there's going to be welds across this section all the way across. There's also a flange underneath this piece, underneath this side, let's say, that is the bracket system for the hinge, and then, of course, what would be the, the hook on the uh, package tray. So that's going to sit in there and that'll end up getting welds internally. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to try to come up through to make it a little cleaner because access when this is sitting proper there's really no room to weld into that. So I'll probably just make some holes underneath here and weld up through and then grind those welds smooth. Uh, the biggest issue I have with this panel is this angle right here. So the quarter is supposed to be square to this, and I don't know if you can tell by the video or not, this is angled slightly. So I'm going to have to clean that up, get this, get this more at a 90 degree. Same thing on this side, it's angled out. And when the quarter comes up and touches it, it creates a gap which shouldn't really be there. It should be a snug fit, so I'll have to massage that down in. Um, and like I said in the previous video, you know, I did all this test fitting with these and that's all good. So, so, at this point, I'm going to have to take all this back apart. And so I will need to do some prep work on this major panel and that'll be involved drilling holes or punching holes. Uh, I do have holes that I need to put in the outer wheelhouse that'll weld it to the original inner wheelhouse. There's a flange behind this clamp. A flange here, uh, metal that runs inside of this, so I have to get welds on that location. Follow the um, wheelhouse. Now, what I may end up doing is I could weld from this side on this wheelhouse. I don't want to do that up here, I don't think, because I've got this other piece interacting. I may be able to put some holes in this section, but really when I get down here, where this overlaps, I'm going to weld on the inside. So I will make holes in the wheelhouse so that I can weld through and make contact there. I do have holes in place 
down here where the inner rocker I welded or uh, drilled out all the welds so I can weld on the inside here which will take care of that all the way back and then I also have holes where I had separated the metal here and internally there's a bracket so all this can be welded just got to prep this uh, get this cleaned up and ready up here I also have holes already in place so I can take care of that down below I will have to make new holes in the flange actually I did already look at that I'm way ahead of the curve I forgot because I had drilled off that inner rocker so I already have holes there so I don't have to do much in the back area to get this welded in up here I will have to make uh, holes either on this side of the flange or I could make them on this side either way I'll decide that as I move forward uh, this will have to be clamped together and of course welded in I have existing holes up here that's good I may add one up here in this corner this has to be massaged down as well because I had to bend this up to get the old piece out so yeah I'm not that far behind on that I guess we'll see how far I okay so I always say test fit everything right and I got to thinking about this as I was making my marks where I wanted to drill the holes for the spot welds I noticed that this section it is it is tight against the original metal in here but th that doesn't mean everything is okay so I went outside and I had this old windshield from another Camaro project and I decided well, let me put this in place and see what happens when I put it up here this part the windshield a pillar it was out too far like there was a gap beside where the glass would be so I took the clamps loose up here pushed it in reclamped it and now I have a pretty consistent gap all the way up on this side and then on the passenger side it's a little bit off just a little but I have to keep in mind this is also an aftermarket windshield this is not original so I don't know if the cut was accurate or not really know where to to tell on that part of it now the other thing I have is the roof skin that I can put up here to verify that my width is correct. Um, there's a lot of things that come into play, but I can't really test fit the roof with these pieces or these clamps in the way. So at this point, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I think it's going to be okay. Um, there's really nothing else I can do to move it here because this is tied up against the inner structure that already exists. So really, I, I'm flexing this top portion over slightly, and it looks like it's going to be fine. So always test fit everything you can. All right, it's time. I've been working on getting all of the holes where I need them. As I've shown before, I have these holes up here. I did add the holes in that flange. Made sure I have all the holes around the perimeter of these openings, upper and lower. And then up here, I already had these holes from where I had taken it apart. And I added some more holes underneath here so that I can weld the backside. Otherwise, I couldn't get to it because that is ultimately uh, four pieces of metal when you add it up. This piece the uh, A-pillar structure that goes in and then these two layers so I want to make sure that is all welded together down here I have bared the metal uh, where I'm going to make contact with the outer flange let's say of the outer rocker panel and then the upper as of the inner has all the holes in it as well back here I had to cut out a little piece that was rusted so I made a new one, patched that in, made holes for these contact areas, went around the wheelhouse, I came all the way up, went into this area here, which, if you look across, corresponds to that downward brace. So I'm going to stop at that point 
and then this area will be all welded from this side I prepped the metal here looks like I need I might have missed one glad I'm looking at this I might have missed that so I'm gonna have to add that hole uh, back here I've added holes in the filler piece that goes downward from the trunk on the main panel these are the holes on the wheelhouse these are those holes I was talking about with that upper flange I think it needs a hole right there so I'll have to add that I prepped the metal for contact same way here this is where those holes are in that lower piece I need to grind that see there that's why you check these things got all this prepped all of this contact area here on up this is the back side where I showed those other holes and then there are these holes which weld to the lower section down there so those were there from the factory uh, contact area here that is where the lower opening is so you can kind of correlate those how they fit together on the inside I did fully weld the this flange back together as you may recall I had to shorten this up because it was too wide so I welded it on the inside and the outside um, I've added paint to the inside this area here was bare metal from about here to here so I sprayed paint in there as well and I really think other than missing a little bit of weld that I need to blend down and adding maybe one or two more holes right here I think it's ready to go on the car and start welding so that's what I'm gonna do start welding the inner rocker to the outer on the upper side and then if I need to make some adjustment on the bottom because I was looking at it and I could see that it was pulled down just a little bit but once I make this solid I can take a jack and push up slightly on the mating flange for the outer and then weld the two together.
Okay, this is all welded in. Now I want to take this piece, knock it down, and then weld it to this piece. So, need a hammer. Okay, what I want to do now, uh, I'll show you the rest of it in just a minute, but um, I want to take the jack and push up on the bottom seam because right now the outer is sitting a little low compared to the inner and this is an easy way to make it adjust, let's say. So. Clamp. It's not moving now. And that's all I'm going to do. Jack it up just a little bit, and it's going to make those two flanges come together more evenly and then of course I'll weld that I'm not going to bore you with more welding, that's all I've been doing is welding I'm not going to bore you with more of the same welding but basically the holes are there, got to fill them in and it's looking pretty good so all this is welded of course this is all welded in here the inner seam or inner overlap of the inner and outer is all welded together. I haven't done anything to this front section yet. That's just going to be a matter of clamping it and welding it. And then back here, I did weld these in place and these upper holes. I still have to do the welds on the inside of the inner wheelhouse and a few inside of the wheel opening where the metal kind of overlaps. And then, of course, back here, I'll have to weld the outer wheelhouse to this trunk extension. Uh, as you saw, I did test fit the quarter panel, and I took it back off because I kind of had a brain cramp. Uh, I didn't see these holes. I didn't have these holes. 
and I thought, oh no, I can't put the quarter on because I don't have those holes there. Well, the reality is I didn't need to do that, but I went ahead and drilled those holes anyway, and then retest fitted the quarter, and it all lined up. Up here at the top, um, this go round with the upper header panel, or whatever you want to call this, uh, the first time I had this in, this was kind of out, and now with this last, when I was test fitting everything, it really kind of dropped into place and fit much closer. So I really don't have, I didn't have to push on this very much at all to try to tighten this up. The windshield fit nice, and I'm going to keep moving forward. Now, again, I have to weld the bottom of the car and a few other places, but I'm very happy with how this is fitting. So that'll be the end of this video. There's more to come. You know, I'm going to work on getting all these welds done, and then I will do a complete test fit of the quarters and the roof and all the pieces associated, and then we'll go on from there. Now, it is Memorial Day weekend, so let us all remember those who never made it home and made the ultimate sacrifice for this country. It's, a, it's important to me, and it should be important to all of us, and I salute all of those who never made it home. So... Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you would, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment on this video, let me know what you think. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya.